Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Buck Parker. I'm a board certified general surgeon. In this video, we're gonna talk about if it's worth going to a very prestigious but very expensive college and or medical school. So here's the deal, a lot of people ask me, look, I have a chance to go to a very expensive but prestigious uh, college and or medical school. Should I do it because I'm gonna have so much debt after? And is it worth going to you know like an ivy league school and taking on all this debt say my parents can't pay for it all or i can't pay for it or i don't have a scholarship so let me tell you a story when i was in high school i didn't think that was a great idea so a lot of my friends and family said you can go to a state college you can go to a community college it's the same books it doesn't matter uh, why waste your money on all these other schools that everybody thinks they're too cool for school i don't need to be in a fancy college to be educated so now that i've done college, medical school, residency, what is my perspective on that? And that my perspective is that yes, it is definitely worth going to a prestigious school as in an Ivy League college and paying for uh, that education because here's the deal. First of all, you do get a better education and I'll tell you why. Because those colleges and med schools have the very best of the best people in them, okay? One thing that I've learned over time is that if you wanna learn something, if you wanna be the best at something, you have to be around people that are the best. If you're here, you know, trying to learn something and, and you're hanging out with people that are here, you're gonna be very quick to go up to that level. So that is the best way to, to really excel your learning. Like, I always tell people, like, it's not really so much your smarts, okay? It doesn't matter your IQ or where you came from. It's who you're hanging out with now. Who are the 10 people that you hang out with the most? And what do they do? That's what you're gonna be like. Your characteristics, your smarts, your mannerisms, everything is like that. If that's where you wanna go, if you wanna be one of the best, or if you wanna get ahead, then hang out with the people that are the best. And the best place to do that are those places such as Stanford, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, all that stuff. Okay, so that is, that's number one. But number two, I think, far exceeds number one even. And that's the fact that forever, after you leave that college, doors will open for you. Okay, so when somebody says, oh, hey, where'd you go to college? You're like, oh, Harvard, that is, irrefutable, right? And everybody is always impressed by that. You may have sucked fucking big donkey dongs, okay, in Harvard, but it doesn't matter. You graduated for Harvard. Nobody fucking knows. After a year, two years, nobody's gonna know what kind of student you were or what kind of grades you got. They just know you went to Harvard, okay? And so when you go to, to get a job or to get a research thing or go to a medical school or whatever it is, doors fly open and that is forever if you're 85 years old and you want to do something you'll be the first one to be picked because you know why people know you go, went to Harvard so that's the huge value you get in these prestigious schools so if you're somebody that is lucky enough that you've been accepted to one of those schools and you're like well maybe I'm not shouldn't go or if you're contemplating like not applying because you're like oh that's not worth it I don't want to go to the schools anyways they're stuck up snobs who gives a shit if they're stuck up snobs F it just go because for the rest of your life you'll have an advantage over the entire population right even if you go you go across the world anywhere if you say Harvard Princeton Stanford all that stuff UCLA or whatever, maybe UCLA, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, if you go, the better name school you go to, the easier your life will be forever, okay? So remember that. All right, I hope you liked that video. Hey, subscribe, like, and share this video if you would. I know I've got a little bit of a different setup today, but I'm trying it out. What do you think my new digs here? I got a, I got the desk, I got the white coat, I'm, I'm kind of looking I'm looking pretty spiffy, I think. I think I'm digging this. We might do this for a little while instead of the car. What do you guys think? Hey, why don't you guys tell me if you like the car or you like the, the desk better, and I'll start making videos maybe in the desk if I have time. All right, take care.